Halloween 2 came out three years later in 1981 because obviously the first one made a lot of money and the studio at the time was it Universal? I might have to check that. But anyways, whoever was like holding the rights or whatever wanted to make some money. But like, hey, we want to make a sequel. From the people who brought you Halloween, more of the night he came home. Halloween 2. There is no place to hide. He will always find you. Halloween 2. More of the night he came home. Rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. But John had obligations to do what well, he wanted to do a fog like remake a reboot. I'm sorry, not I'm getting all mixed up. He wanted to make the fog, so he did that. However, in doing so, John Carpenter felt like he was obligated and kind of forced to because he, he was technically obligated. He did sign, like, I'm, I'm assuming some things, I'm not too sure about that, but he felt forced and obligated to do it. So, with that in mind, he did some, he, he didn't cut corners, but during the, the, the writing process, he just like set up some things, like, you know what, I'll just do this quickly. He, he like didn't put his heart and soul into the sequel which sounds bad but the, the movie itself isn't bad it's actually pretty good you know i like doing this i like looking up facts and research on a certain movie before i actually talk about it or even watch it and like do some research on it i should do that from now on you know what i'm gonna do that this is gonna be a new thing now but anyways some things i found interesting originally this film was set, supposed to be set years into the future so unlike the actual film where it picks up minutes after the original was to have the story set a few years later and have michael target Laura's new home in a high-rise apartment building which also is another interesting thing the whole like obviously the hospital is like the big thing in this one apparently the first idea was like a apartment complex so that would have been interesting right a few years later which would make sense because this movie came out three years later the mask too is technically the same mask for the first one however someone left the mask just in like a like warehouse or something and a different actor was playing this michael so it looks like michael's face is like poofing up but it's just the same mask clearly just kind of worn out from being left unused speaking of the mask the eyes pop out again that's something i don't like about sort of this franchise is like i like it when, when the mask has just dark holes and there's a blank face when the eyes pop starts popping out. it's just a little, like a little nitpick but when the eyes start you know popping out it's like i don't know is that just me i don't like that that could just be me and my sort of preferences of the mask but the mask still looks good it, it looks poofy but overall it's, it's the same mask either way ah here we go one of the things that john carpenter did was he regrets making Lori and michael related so again during the writing process he was like you know what screw it we'll, we'll just make them siblings because we kind of think about it he just sort of stalked Lori out of nowhere because he she was like i guess the first human being to step on his property or something doesn't really get explained the first one however it's not needed because the unknown and mystery is what makes it you know scary so when carpenter wrote in that both myers and Lori were brothers and sisters and, you know it clearly created like a ripple effect they wouldn't use this throughout the sequels yeah i just i'm kind of it, like it doesn't bother me i'm kind of indifferent about it so okay you know they just needed something to basically a hook to be like okay why is he, does he keep chasing lori for no reason basically makes sense of this somehow carpenter describes his decision as purely as a function of having decided to become involved in the sequel to a movie where i didn't think there was really much of a story left it, it sort of takes away the mystery behind it basically and michael's motivations which i guess again i'm super in, indifferent about it so it really doesn't matter to me but apparently also the movie was not supposed to be as violent as it should be apparently the new director or not new director but direct, the director directing this was not john carpenter it was rick rosenthal and he didn't want blood and gore he wanted to be less violent just like the first one however carpenter went went behind rick's back and shot several scenes adding more graphic content which is the opposite of the first one now i you know some people have said this is a bad idea bad decision but that isn't a negative for me honestly it was like okay cool the sequel honestly plays out more like a generic and typical slasher the first one was a classic this one does kind of play out like a again typical slasher but being more bloody you know isn't bad in my opinion uh more blood more, more good when this movie got bloody i was like yeah this is my shit right here oh what apparently in 2011 universal bought the film to oh wait hold on so there was a 30th anniversary package and in the 30th anniversary when universal had it or something the mustafa akad presents line was removed and apparently this was a controversial his son said that any horror fan would find this as an insult to the man who has done so much okay okay i'll give him that 
that, right? Because Mustafa Akkad is like, in, in like interviews I've seen him in, he loves Michael Myers. Like, he loves it. And I think he's been involved in every single movie before he tragically died. But he's been involved in every movie because he loves him so much. So, sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. Sure. Man, these, these goddamn TV versions. I'm going to find. Are there any blue? I'm. Hmm. So, apparently, Jimmy survives in the TV version. The boy. trying to hit on Lori who's just in pain and hurt and he like, is trying to hit on her but these tv versions i need to like find these does anyone know where these tv versions are i, I want to find these apparently he like survives instead of slipping on a pool of blood which by the way that scene how the hell did he not see that pool of blood it was like filled to the brim okay okay not to the brim but feel like throughout a majority of that floor in that certain room and he did not see that shit and he turns back and slips and falls and kills himself what like, how did you not see that anyways but yeah, it turns out he he just survived yeah, i don't think that changes anything oh so john carpenter wrote the sequel intending for dr loomis both dr loomis and myers to like die like die die right they just straight up die however this was obviously retconned to bring both the characters back who by the way again should have died in this fire and explosion but obviously it made money he's like you know what this dude at the time i don't was it universal i don't know i should probably look that up forgive me for the not knowing that but they're like yeah you know what when i'm bringing them back even though it makes no human like possible sense or whatever but give me money just bring them back why not which i guess from a story standpoint is is bad but you know halloween fans love both of them so in the end it really doesn't matter as long as you bring you know the favorites back it should all be good that's interesting this is the only halloween movie to show the morning after the 31st every other movie ends on the halloween night makes sense right because the movie's called Halloween. Duh. Ooh, I gotta talk about this. So that hot tub scene where uh, actor Pamela Susan Shop Shoop Shop is two O's. Michael puts her face in the hot tub and her face is all melting. Apparently her ear got infected because the water in the hot tub was apparently not too clean. But speaking of that scene alone, it was awesome. It was the polar opposite of the Jason X like ice head. Not ice head. I don't know what is it, but the, the ice like head smash. Complete opposite. Oh wow. Apparently Dick Warlock, who plays this Myers in this movie, is the shortest Myers. So in order to be a bit more tall a bit more imposing he wore lists in order to be you know taller apparently deborah hill in an interview said that they were intending on making this sequel a 3d process however 3d back in the day i think still now is super expensive and so they obviously ended that sort of deal and whatnot would have been cool pretty sure a Hollywood movies in 3d i'd like to enjoy that all right i think that's it i think that that's enough the videos are there i'm looking at the time 14 minutes probably won't be 14 minutes at the time of this video coming out but anyways uh speaking of myers and dick warlock as michael myers he seems to bit like kind of slow kind of like that scene where he walks through like the glass door it seems kind of stiff it's, there we go stiff right word he seems a bit stiff because nick castle played him you know pretty good dick warlock yeah i don't know man he, he seems a bit stiff and myers just walking around with nobody just kind of going after him because th again this is like halloween night or the night after halloween night so no one's gonna stop him because there's so people in costumes just kind of walking around and it's so like awesome just seeing him blend in and just walk through like the whole town heading towards the hospital which is awesome loomis is being loomis again donald pleasance comes back to reprise his role he's great in it he's kind of that character that's like i guess us the audience jamie lee curtis i believe so after the first one she was in a few more movies and i think she was in another movie during the shoot of this movie so they had to like put a wig on her in order for her to be the same and i think due to like scheduling conflict she was basically in bed and asleep throughout the whole movie like almost like the whole movie so we have just myers coming you know to her which isn't a bad idea but as Especially rewatching this on the second time, she does basically nothing. She's just in a hospital sleeping. Uh, I think has dreams of a young Myers when she was little, and then if you see that scene of them apparently being brothers and sisters, and you know he's there sitting in the asylum. She sees him. That's really the only significant thing. Other than that, she's just like Sleeping Beauty. She hits on Jimmy, and that's basically it. Oh, and then uh, this one lady, what's her name? She shows back up in H2O, but like one of her j journalist friends, who Dr. Loomis works for or works with, says that his job is done. He needs to come back. He's He's causing havoc and chaos, which he is to this Hattonfield town because he's going around telling people that the boogeyman's walking up, you know, Myers, he's evil and he's scaring people. And obviously the, wherever he works, people don't like that. So she comes here to, you know, take him back basically. So while he's doing that again, Myers get to this hospital. And by the way, this is a hospital. Now granted, this is like a Halloween night. It's very late. So there may not be too much staff, but quite a few people here in this hospital, you know, there's like maybe six people, seven, eight, maybe. This is a really big hospital. It's 
seems like. But anyways, oh, how did I? They knew Sandman again. Apparently, they they love that song or something. I I I love it too. So just keep on using it. As I said before, the blood didn't mind to hear. Apparently, that was a negative when this movie came out. More bloody, more generic, more like a slasher. I personally didn't mind it. I think it honestly kind of fit well perfectly because he would have been pissed not only been shot six times by Loomis, but also not being able to kill his sister because he did that once back in 1963. He's doing it, you know, 15 years later again just to do his deed again, basically, and he's pissed off. At least that's how I rationalize it. But hey, you know what? If they can't rationalize being more violence, if they're just being more bloody, the sake of being bloody, I'm alright with that as well. The shadowing, like in the back, again, something I have to praise this series for. Myers just like in the background being in the shadows. That is awesome. Every time in every movie, I believe. I said that in previous video. He's gonna do it in every movie, and I love that throughout all the movies, even the bad ones. He does that. One thing, I guess, a negative for this movie is the fact that it is it's a bit slow, it's slower, even more slower than the first one even though the first one is intentionally being slow building up tension this one is just slow for the sake of being slow again Lori story she's like being sleeping beauty mars is slowly catching up to her we learn that there's they're both siblings and loomis is doing off being distracted throughout that we get like the the horny couple right in the bathtub and just kind of useless characters even jimmy you know he's okay he's like i guess like the cute guy that likes that, that's into Lori. i don't care about this and it's kind of slow kind of in the middle part right because we get the the remix version of the halloween theme right there's like a more there's like an added note or key to the theme but you know he has one or no whatever that's the beginning and then past 25 minutes it's like okay the hospital we we see we meet some characters it feels like a generic slasher so i will that's kind of my issue with this now that doesn't take away from this movie i'm not saying it's bad it's still again pretty good the mask is still the same the eye thing kind of bothers me kind of being slow in the middle then being scissors i kind of don't care for i mean i'm indifferent about it loomis being loomis again and you know we have the chase again in the hospital which is again scary because he like slashed all of the employees tires and like doors are being locked when they shouldn't be locked throughout this big building despite being in a hospital it still feels claustrophobic in some ways right you know watching it, they're in a hospital but you know it still feels claustrophobic at least to me she meets loomis and loomis's uh, lady friend uh, loomis again shoots him multiple times and then cops come by idiot comes up to him like, i think snaps his neck right i think i think he like snaps his neck or something so it's like loomis versus my they can both of them are going after uh Lori Strode. They make it into this uh like gas tank, or whatever, and he knocks out Loomis, right? Myers locks out, knocks out Loomis. Lori has a gun and shoots both of Myers' eyes perfectly, by the way. Again, just kind of more plot conveniences. Okay, just get on with this movie. Kind of we're, we're like near the end. End the shit already, please. So shoots Myers and eyes come both perfectly. So his eyes bleeding coming out of the mask. That was awesome. And Loomis, like, he has a great plan. He turns up like gasoline or whatever and lights it on fire killing himself quotation mark killing himself and myers it is time michael Lori Strode is out in the hallway myers tries to have one more sort of trying to kill her kill his sister but he just comes out looking cool and fire and knocks down basically and again originally they're supposed to end carpenter was like i'm gonna kill this character because i don't plan on making any more sequels or any more stories which makes sense because yeah i mean i mean what else they could have done just some crazy maniac wanted to kill another girl or something thinking he's a sister or he's trying to be a sister would have been honestly a good way to end it obviously we have like nine more movies to talk about but to me as someone who's not a big fan of you know the halloween fans would have been a pretty good way it ends with her in an ambulance and crazy black and yeah it's uh it's still pretty good obviously not as good a bit more slow more boring surprisingly on a rewatch even though the, you know again first one's think slower but yeah halloween 2 1981 i have to specify because there's been two ver three versions of halloween 2 or actually one version yeah one, one version so i have to, I have to specify halloween 2 1981 is still pretty good next up obviously halloween 3 season of the witch will be on the 23rd